Hi guys, this is Ruff from Xbox also here, just going to show you today's install which is being on a VS500. Uh, this is the 2016 spec car, it might be on a 15 plate, but a 16 spec car, so just uh, you'll notice the difference anyway, because this is our round screen one here. Obviously if you've got the older style you'll have tend to have the air vents built in just above the radio down here, you'll, you'll know the difference anyway. So, as you can see, this is the um, our Android 13 model that we've installed today, which is comes with an 8-core processor. A 464 gig of RAM, this is the home page here. You can change that if you want in the back end settings, but as I say, this is what's preset as a default setting. Um, all these buttons down here, nice little touch around here, so all these buttons are physical, so obviously that's the home button. There's the radio there, take you back to home there, obviously that one. This one's the back button down here, it takes you to the back page. This one here is your Google, or sorry, your navigation um, map uh, shortcut home page button. Uh, it's got Google Maps on there at the moment, the reason it's a blank screen because it does need an internet connection. Uh, so obviously that's why it's showing that there. Uh, you've got your ESP, uh, EQ settings which is uh, your DSP sound processor. So uh, you've got a lot of enhancements to go for. So if you can see your subs and your amps and stuff like that. You can fine tune the output on here. Um, it does work with your steering wheel controls. Uh, which I will pre-warn you, we had to change the CAN bus setting on here to get it working today. We did take a picture of the right CAN bus setting, so obviously if you do go for the system here, and you, we'll send over the details to change over if you have any difficulties, just to show you there. So I'll just go back to the home page. Um, just go into there, there's your application centre here, so obviously all these applications in the back end, some of them are on the home page anyway, as shortcuts, but I'll just give you a quick run through them. So you've got your AUX there, so if you want to stick any, like a TV box to the system, you can go into this one here. Bluetooth, uh, this is where obviously you do all your phone calls, got full phone box support, uh, link your phone up to it. Uh, calculator, if you want to buy it in Mac East drive through and ca calculate how much you're paying and spending. Uh, this one here, CarLink, this is your CarPlay, Android Auto app, as you can see it's connected to my phone today which is an uh, Apple phone but as I say if you've got an, uh, an Android one it does basically um, bring your Android auto over here so if I just go on the back button uh, Chrome this is obviously a browser equalizer it's just showed you that before which is a DSP sound processor file manager so if you want to put any third party apps on there which is basically not on the Play Store i.e. IPTV uh, you can go through the file manager here and you can upload the apps through there and so Gallery for pictures, don't ask me why that's there, uh, I have no idea. Google and Chrome, same, just the browser. This is your Google Maps here, which I showed you. Uh, MCU Key, this is a new one to us, let's have a little look at it. Mm, looks pretty much like the steering wheel control setup menu, but I'm not seeing that app in that format any before. Music, um, okay, so obviously you've got your music, if you want to put your music on a pen drive. Uh, the system does come with two USB cables, um, and you can put your music on films on a pen drive play through there, Navi you just showed before, operation guide, it's an e-manual. Okay, here's your Play Store icon, so if you, uh, uh, it's always advisable getting a, if you haven't got a Play Store account already, to just register one online on the googleplace.com. Uh, all you need is an email address and password, you don't need to put your card details in, not if you're buying any apps, as most of them are free anyway. Uh, it's at your Play Store, let's have a little look what else is here. Okay, there's your radio, that's your FMA radio which I showed you. It does have I'm just stay my controls. It does have RDS, it's just probably not switched on. Let me just show you one second. So this one here is your RDS, so you just switch it on and then it'll give you the station names next time you do a tune. Oh there's a station name anyway, it just popped up. Um let's have a little look settings, okay. So obviously you can go into the Navi settings, but obviously there's all your back end settings for the for the Android here. Um a lot of them you won't need to play around with. There's your Wi-Fi menu, so if you did want to connect your phone as a hotspot to it. Uh, it does come with a SIM card holder too, so you can use a 4G SIM card. Give you an internet connection that way. Just give you a little, just a little bit of a little rundown of these here. Factory, so obviously, normally you don't need to go into here, but you might need to change some stuff. So what we did before, we had to change this car model here. Um, this was set wrong by the factory, don't ask me why, but after a little bit of tinkering, we found this was the correct setting for the steering wheel controls because obviously if they are not aligned to your card then the steering wheel controls won't work. Uh, let's have a little look. Car agreements. Okay, some stuff you can switch on and on like the external temperature, um, radars, this is the parking sensors, some settings in there, door the door positions, left to right and stuff. Okay, let's go back out there. Let's have a little look. Steering wheel control menu, doesn't apply to this because it comes with a canvas box. Trust assist, there's just little 
uh, option to stick on the stupid little display button down here and switch that off. Get that off the vehicle settings. Okay, let's have a little look at this. So it gives you some uh, information on the fuel consumption that I assume the original radio it did, and it's got this one here. So you can change language settings. Let's just put it to English. That tends to be relatable towards the um, the MFD display. So obviously you can change things on that. It doesn't can't change that KM there. So temperature metric. Okay, let's give you a little rundown on this. So these settings will be on the original radio too. Uh, some may not apply to the original radio and may, therefore won't work. But obviously, if you've got them on the original radio, they'll show up on here too. A video player, that's where you watch your videos from the pen drive as I showed you before on YouTube there. So yeah, hope you liked the video today guys. It is it isn't um, a new unit we've cut put in today, it's obviously a new range. So we've not done one on this Fear 500 before, as you can see it looks nice. Um, if you've got any questions give us a shout, we'll put the link down in the description down below and all our contact details. And I hope to see you soon, take care, bye bye.